Hey everybody, I'm Jill Brown and welcome back. This is your sixth workout in our eight week series. And when you started, you were beginners, but I don't think you're beginners anymore. Today's workout is gonna be a full body workout with some cardio and some sculpting and some weights. So make sure you have a pair of weights with you and your mat and we'll be taking it to the floor for maybe the last five to 10 minutes. All right, let's begin. Take your feet a little wider than hips distance apart and let's do some deep breathing. Inhale up and exhale down. Let's do four of those. Inhale up, exhale down. Keep your abdominals tight. Try not to let your knees shoot past your toes. And one more, final breath. Now let's reach up nice and tall. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. And let's do eight more, seven, six, and I'm opening my ribs, four, three, two. Now add a little tap, reach your arms around, but not too far. You wanna keep your sternum lifted and don't rotate too far. We wanna be careful of our backs. And let's do eight more reaches, seven, six, just moving the blood, four more, three, two, and one. Let's roll the shoulders back. Open up the front of your shoulders. Expand your chest. Two more. One more. And now roll them forward. Let's do six, five, four. Make sure you have no tension in your neck. And now neck stretches. Ear to shoulder, center it up. Ear to shoulder, center it up. I know this is where I get stiff too. So if you wanna give your hand a little help, or give your head a little help with your hand, Give it a little pull. And now open up the front of the shoulders with a big stretch back, just like you're doing the backstroke, like you're gonna jump into that pool with me, which I'm gonna do right after this. Four more, some backstroke. Three, two, and let's swim it forward. Reach up and over, just pretend you're doing the freestyle. Four more, one, two, three, and four, good. So let's step it out to one side. We're gonna do an inner thigh stretch. Hinge your hips back, bring your hips, toes, and knees all in the same line. So in other words, I'm not swinging my hips off sideways. If you're a little bit tight, you might wind up feeling the stretch pretty soon. But if you're ready to feel the inner thigh, we're gonna turn that toe up. So some of you might not be quite that flexible yet, but you'll work on it. Just keep sinking back into a one-legged chair. Hold that stretch for a few seconds and then separate your hands, roll yourself up, and now I'm gonna do a cat-cow. So we're gonna turn sideways so that you can see my profile. I'm gonna sit back in that chair again, pull my abdominals in and round my back. And then I'm gonna inhale and flatten my spine. So you've done this with me a few times. This is the cat-cow. Let's do two more. Exhale as you come up, and inhale as you come down to a tabletop. One more, stretch your spine, and inhale. Now roll it all the way up, and we'll take that stretch to the other side for the inner thigh. So step one leg out, hinge your hips back, knee, toes, and hips are on that same line. Imagine there's a wall to the side of you and you can't push into that wall. And then turn this toe up and let's get that inner thigh stretch here. So if it's a little too much for you, just keep that foot down for now. If you can take the stretch a little deeper, we're gonna turn that toe up and sit lower in that chair. Hold that for a few more seconds and then put the foot down, roll it up. Take one more deep breath and let's start getting ready for some cardio. So march it out and here we go. Let's get the blood flowing. The stretch was good. We're gonna take side lunges. So I'm just gonna take one foot out to the side. Keep your arms ready to go because we're gonna start moving them in four, three, two, punch front right to me and then both arms. So one punch forward, one punch to the side. And let's do eight, seven, six five, four, three, two, and stay out with one leg. Repeat our knee, we're gonna pull in and in. You gotta balance on that one leg. And then if you can, let's go to the prison yard. What? Hands up on the head for eight, seven, six, five, four. I call these prisoners. Two and one. Take a deep breath, inhale, and let's change sides. So pump the arms up, get your legs balanced, and then get ready to go to prison. Here we go, hands on head, and eight, seven, balancing six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, tap out to the side again like the first move. And then we're gonna do half jacks. That's gonna be just a little bit of a hop. If you can get just a half an inch of air under your foot, we're good. And arms out, front, out, front, just swing them. Got me? I bet you do. Let's do eight more. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Skaters, cross back, other side, cross back, other side. Give me that 
best Apollo Ono you can. And look at that little hop, tiny little hop. I wanna start building you guys up to doing a little more intense cardio, which is gonna happen in our later workouts after this one. So a tiny little hop to the side. And let's do eight more. And six, five, four, three, two, and one. Deep breath. All right, good start. Let's go grab our dumbbells now. All right, let's start off with something called halos. Holding your dumbbells, palms facing in, we're just gonna sweep them around the head, just like you're a beautiful angel. And let's do three halos in each direction, other way. As you do the halos, you're gonna feel a stretch across the front of your shoulders and your chest. And let's switch again, one each direction. Reach back, open up the front of the shoulders. Reach back, open up the front of the shoulders. One more each way. Feel the stretch across the ribs. And last one. All right, so from here, let's start moving our legs again. Step together. Let's get the heart rate going back up. We just took our quick little dumbbell break. And now, we're gonna add some bicep curls. So as you step, curl up and down, nice and slow. And then flex those muscles for me. And in eight of these, we're gonna add on to shoulders. So here we go, let's count down from eight and seven. Abs tight, six shoulders back, five, four. So we've got all the muscles moving in the body right now. Let's take this up to a shoulder raise. So keep the legs going and we're just gonna bring the arms up and down nice and slow. Don't even worry if you're not following my tempo. It's not really a dance class. It is cardio though. So having your arms and legs moving is the key. And if you can, let's try this a little faster. If you can't, no worries. Take it at your own pace as always. And let's try eight shoulder raises. Make sure your wrists and elbows are in the same line and that you're bringing your elbows up to the shoulder height. So you don't wanna come all the way up overhead. And let's do about three more. Two, and now add a bicep curl up and down, two more, and then we're gonna go back to the shoulders. So here we go back to the shoulders. So let's do four of each. One, two, and if you're not on my timing, it's okay. One more, you're moving, that's what I wanna see. Biceps again for two, and shoulders for two. Good, and let's see if we can maybe get one of each. So we're gonna go bicep curl, shoulder raise. You got me? Bicep curl. I bet you do, or pretty close. Now, one thing I wanna make sure that you don't do is use your neck. Your neck has a lot of muscles, like 18 of them, seriously. So make sure as you raise your dumbbells that you're not raising the dumbbells like this. You don't wanna shrug your shoulders. You're not asking me a question, are you? So nice and strong, use the tops of your shoulders to lift the dumbbells. And you're probably getting a little tired now, so let's just do four more and three more and two more, hang in there, last one, and let's just keep the legs apart like this. So soften your knees, we're gonna do some lunges with punches. Get the arms ready, like you're gonna punch me, and let's just push the leg out, away from where you started. And then just punch, 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 easy as that. So again, now that your arms are up in the air, just make sure you're not using your neck muscles to pull the shoulders up or to pull the dumbbells up. And let's try 10 of these, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold the dumbbells together right in front of you. Step with your foot out. We're gonna point the toe up to the ceiling. So just little taps. Hips are back like you're sitting in a chair. Let me show you from the side. Hinge back, tap forward. Don't exaggerate it. It's just a small move while we get the arms going again. So get your arms ready, palms facing in. We're gonna add some punches to these tap forwards. So let's check. So let's try using our coordination a little bit here. As I tap one foot, I'm gonna punch the other arm. Did I throw you there? So opposite arm to foot, whatever side you're on, it's okay. And let's try 10 of these. And one, two, oh, I know, no fair, I'm counting doubles. Three, four, good, right to me. Make sure that the shoulders aren't too high. You just wanna bring the dumbbells right out in front of your face. And one more. You did it. Keep the legs going. Bring the arms up overhead now. And we're gonna bring the thumbs back behind the head and this is gonna be a tricep overhead extension. So we're gonna bring the arms down and up. 
Keep the legs moving. Even if you lost my pattern, that's okay. I'm stepping forward on one and bringing the arms up on the other. So down and up. So just one movement per foot, down on one foot, up on the other. So let's make sure you're not straining your shoulders, okay? Do you feel anything weird back there? If you do, lower your arms a little bit, point your elbows out to the sides a little bit more. If you've got good flexibility in your shoulders, then go a little more up to your ceiling. And let's do eight more of these. Seven, this is for your tricep. Six, the back of the arm. Five, the part of my arm that's facing you. Four, three, you're looking right at the muscle that's working. Two more. And last one. All right, gang, that was a pretty good job. Roll your shoulders back, step your legs a little bit wider, and we're gonna do a sumo squat. Palms together, sumo squat. Yeah, we did these before. Sit in an imaginary chair, but don't go too far back. Use your inner thighs to lift you up. Nice and slow, down, down, and up, up. Check your posture, keep the abs in tight. Toes are pointing slightly out to the corners. And the most important thing here is to make sure that your knees don't go past your toes. Abs pull in, that's gonna help. Use your butt cheeks a little bit and press into the floor with your heels. Huh? Yeah, into the floor, push your heels down. Now we're gonna add a one-arm lateral raise. So bring your arm out to the side as you lift. There we go. Now once you start getting this rhythm down, you'll pick up the pace a little bit. And remember, you can always go slower than me, especially when it's your first time. You'll get faster and faster the more you do the workout. And then you won't be a beginner anymore. It'll be too easy. So let's do eight more of these. Down and up, one, two, three, four, five, six, last one, and last one. Great job, guys. Roll your shoulders back, and now I'm gonna turn to the side, and we're gonna do something called a bent over row. So legs should be nice and wide apart. It helps to have both of your feet down on the floor. You're gonna lunge forward onto the front leg. So let's keep that front leg really strong and active. Let the arms hang down, and just like you're digging weeds out of your garden, we're gonna pull something up and out of the ground. Watch out for too much movement. So let's not exaggerate, you're not a seesaw. You're gonna hold your body still, engage your core. And what I'm working on are my back muscles. So you can't really see them so much as feel them. Feel your shoulder blades pull down and in and keep your body from swaying too much. And let's do eight more of these. Eight and seven, six, nice long spine. Five, planting your feet, three, two, and one. Stand up, switch your feet just because one leg gets a little more work when you do that. So the front leg is the one that's gonna be a little more active. And now we're gonna do a rear deltoid fly. Fancy for back of the shoulders. Palms start off together, lean onto the front leg, position your back leg so it's solid and strong. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other on your back. So let's do 10, here we go. One, two, now notice my palms are facing down. Three, look at my back hand. Four, you wanna push your back, backs of your hands to the wall behind you. And last five. And four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Let's position our feet together. And now we're gonna take this into the straight arm tricep kickback. We're gonna stand with our feet a little closer together. Make sure your knees don't knock in. And hips hinge back. It's like you're about to sit in a chair or go off a ski slope, whichever you like better. And straight arms back. Look at my pinkies. My pinkies are gonna face right up to the ceiling, thumbs down. Just like I'm pouring myself a soda. And oh no, wait, I don't drink soda. Pinkies up, thumbs down. We don't drink soda around here. And from where you are now, let's count it down from eight. One, two, three. I guess that's counting up. Four, and four more. I'll count down now. And three, don't want to confuse you. Two, abs tight. And one, good, roll the shoulders back. Step it out to that sumo position we did like a minute ago. Toes are out to the corners. And we're gonna do that sumo squat deep down as far as you can, making sure your knees don't overshoot. And then on your way up, we're gonna make a big V for victory. So I call this the sumo squat to V press. The difference between a regular press and a V press is you're pushing out on the diagonal and squeezing your shoulder blades in. I know you can't see me doing that, but I'm squeezing in and then punching out. And let's do 10. One, two, press through your heels. 
three. You with me? It's a hard one, I know. Four, five, keep those abs tight. Six, seven, you're gonna get tired of me reminding you. Eight, but I still will. Nine, last one. 10, I know that was a hard one. All right, we're gonna go into a little more cardiovascular move now. So I'm gonna have you bring one knee up and we're gonna do that repeater knee like we did in the beginning. Only this time we've got dumbbells. So is it gonna be harder? Yeah. And let's do 10 using some arms. One, two, oh yeah, that's harder. Three, four, five, six. And you can also just use one dumbbell. Last two. And let's take it to the other side. So reposition this way, and here we go. Start bringing the knee up first, get your balance, and let's add those arms for 10. One, two, it's like you're just pulling something together in front of you. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go chop some wood. Take those dumbbells, reach them up to the corner in front of you, and then just slice it down. That's why it's called the wood chop, high to low. Let's do 10. Nine, keep your chest up. Seven, try not to bend over. Six, I know you're dying to. Four more, knees are gonna bend on the way down. Two more, keep the chest high. One more, and other side, high to low. 10 of these. Here we go, one. I know I cheated, I gave you an extra. Three, high to low, four. Engage your core, five. This is really about working the waist and seven, even though you feel it in your shoulders right now. Eight, rotate at the core, nine right in your middle, and 10, excellent. We're gonna put one dumbbell down, and we're gonna do something called the baseball swing. Exactly what it sounds like, easy. Bring it out over one shoulder, and pivot your body, swing. Let's do 10 baseball swings, batters up. One, two, were you a baseball player? Softball, don't watch mine. I was the worst on my team, or maybe second worst. And two more, one more, great. So you should feel that in your core. Notice how my hips are rotating. Let's do it on the other side. Batters up, here we go. 10 of them, one, two, three. Rotate your body, four, the lightest bat you'll ever swing, five, a light dumbbell, six, Seven, all the way up and around. Eight, nine, one more, and 10. All right, I'm gonna use one dumbbell or two, or you can use one dumbbell or two for this. I'm gonna pick up my other one, and we're gonna do a halo into a wood chop. So hold your dumbbells together if you wanna use two of them. We're gonna do a halo, and then wood chop. Got it? Halo, and chop. Here we go, it almost looks like a figure eight. And let's do 10, one, Two, three, here comes that core work. Four, and some arms. Five, hello. Six, chest stays up please. Seven, don't let me see you sag down. Eight, nine, one more nice big move. And that'll get you warm for a while. Great. All right, let's go grab our mats and we're gonna do some floor work and core work. All right, get comfy on the floor, on your mat, or on your carpet. Have your dumbbells handy. And the first thing we're gonna start off with is just some crunches. So lie back carefully. Bring your hands behind your head. Engage your abdominals. And remember what I always talk about is using your abdominals to lift your upper body, not using your hands or your neck to pull your body up. So let's warm up with 10 crunches. Exhale up and inhale down. And a crunch is a crunch. A sit-up is a sit-up. We're not doing a full sit up, so you wanna keep your back down on the mat. So pretend that there's a marshmallow underneath your low back and you're squishing that marshmallow into the mat every time. And let's do three more, two, and one. Now take it to an oblique. So we're gonna roll to one side and then come down, but I wanna add legs because you're more advanced now, right? You're not beginner, beginner anymore. So we're gonna lift one knee, just bring it to tabletop and crunch to the other side. Still not pulling on your head, still not pushing with your hands. And as always, engaging the middle of your body, pull your upper body and your lower body together. And from here, let's do 10. 
one, and inhale down, two. Do the exhale on your lift, three, four, five, six, seven, feeling good now, right? Eight, nine, and 10. Take your dumbbells, lie back, and we're gonna do something called an overhead row. So the dumbbells come together, we reach back behind the head, and then you pull it up right over your sternum. So this feels pretty nice. It feels like those halos we did in the beginning. It's kind of a stretch, but you do wanna pull down and in on your ribs. And let's do six of these. One, it's a little easy. Two, three, so we don't wanna stay here for too long, right? Four, of course not. Five, last one, and six. Let's bring our knees up into tabletop and do the same thing, tapping a foot down. So slowly bring your arms down, tap your foot to the floor, and pull together. Oh, now that's a different story, right? That's harder. And let's do eight of these. One, engage the abs as your leg comes down. And we're gonna inhale and exhale on each move. And breathe, four more. Funny how we have to be reminded of that. And two more, are you with me? And one more, excellent. Now let's put the dumbbells down, bring your hips slowly to the, uh, feet slowly to the floor one at a time and lift the hips up off the floor into bridge. Walk your shoulders a little bit closer together, squeeze your butt cheeks, lift your toes, press your heels into the ground and just squeeze your belly tight, hold for 10 seconds squeezing. If you want to make this a little harder, if your hips and your butt muscles are getting nice and strong, put a dumbbell on top of your hips and now we're going to do 10 hip ridges. So tap down to the floor or just come halfway down and lift. So you can go all the way to the floor if you need to. If not, just come down halfway so you keep some tension on the glutes the whole time. This works the hamstrings, the back of your thigh and your glutes. And six more. Exhale on the way up. And five and four, three, two, and one. Roll it down, lift one leg in the air. If it's too hard to do this with your leg extended, and if you're tall or you have uh, heavier legs, let's say, you might wanna bend the knee or put the heel on the opposite knee. So I'm just gonna do a bent knee in between and we're gonna press up. So 10 of these, one, two, I know that's harder, Three, now look at my bottom foot. Four, I want you to pick the toe up and press through the heel. Five, six, of course you can take the dumbbell away if it's too hard. Eight, keep the shoulders flat on the mat. And down, that's killer, right? Because you're lifting the same amount of weight but only with one leg. So it's gonna get defined faster and stronger faster. So other leg can go straight, bent, or rest it on the other leg. Pick your hips up off the floor, lift the toe. 10 times, two, and three, do the best you can. This is pretty advanced already. Four, so you're getting stronger. Five, even if you've just made it this far. Six, seven, eight, nine, and one more. Roll it down. Now, a little toy soldier exercise. Move the dumbbells out of the way. Bring your legs up in the air, and we're gonna slowly lower one leg until you feel your back start to move and then lift it back up. So you don't need to come all the way down unless you feel like you can. If your back is popping up and down, you've gone a little too far. So we wanna be able to keep this whole part of the body here still pressing the belly down. So just go as low as you can. As you get stronger, of course, you're gonna get lower and lower. And let's do four more. One and two and three. Control it up, try not to fling your body. And four, hug your knees in. Rock yourself up or turn to the side as I showed you in a previous workout to lift up that way, it's the safest. Take one dumbbell, hands are gonna be in front of you. We're gonna do something called a half roll down. It's a Pilates exercise. Pull the belly button in and then just turn your body into a soup ladle. Roll halfway back and lift up. So that's the trick is you gotta catch yourself before you get down to the floor. So you're not gonna take a nap right here. We're gonna rock down as far as you can, build the tension in your abdominals and lift up. Here we go for four and lift and three and lift and two. One more, you're a pro and excellent. All done. Great, so that was most of your ab work for today. Now we're gonna go to some inner and outer thigh work to work with our glutes. Lie on your side. In some of our workouts, you've had the option 
of lying all the way down, which is gonna keep your spine in neutral. That's the safest. If you feel like you need to prop yourself up so you can see your screen better, you can do this and you're always careful of your neck. We don't wanna squish the neck in. We wanna lengthen the spine out. Head is an extension of your spine. And then we're gonna extend the top leg. So look at your body. Mirror the edge of your mat. So from your head out to that extended leg, you're one straight line. And we're gonna lift this top leg up off the floor. Let's do 12. One, and two, and three, four. Now point the toe down a little bit, five, and the heel up to the sky a little bit. Why? Because that's gonna work something called your gluteus medius. Just know that it's the side of your tush. And let's finish up our 12, three, two, and one. Hold that leg, torture, I know. Six circles, one, two. Which direction? Doesn't matter, you're gonna do both. Three, four, watch the neck. Five, and six, other way. One, keep the bottom leg still. Two, oh, so much to remember. Three, four, five, and six. Excellent. Bend this knee, extend the bottom leg now. Take your dumbbell. If you wanna add a little weight to it, put it on the inner thigh, and we're gonna lift the leg up again for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you're creating resistance, seven, with your hand, eight, so you can actually make it heavier, nine, as you get more advanced. 10, 11, and 12. Well done. Let's go to the other side. Come back here, dumbbell. So either lying all the way down, or if you're up on your elbow with me, watch that side of the neck, the side closer to the floor is the one that usually gets crunched up. So pull yourself up and out, extend the top leg, look at the edge of your mat or something that's straight and make sure your body matches that so that you're not on an angle. And lift for 12, 11, 10. Now if it's getting easy, nine, you can do what you did with the inner thigh. We added a few more reps from the last time we did this. So if you want to make it heavier, you can push down on your leg or put that dumbbell there. And let's finish up our 12. Try not to fling your leg. Three more, two more, and circles for six. One, bottom leg stays still. Two, three, four, everything up here is strong. Five and six, other way. One, point your toe. Two, make sure the foot is pointing down a little bit. Three, four, you'll feel it more. And six. All right, bend that top leg, extend the bottom leg, put that dumbbell right in the middle of the thigh and lift up for 12, two, three, four, five, six, seven, almost there, watch that body. Eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, and 12. Great job, you guys time for our last two exercises already yeah so I'm gonna swing around this way so you can get a good profile this is called the Russian twist must have been invented in Russia I can only guess one or two dumbbells bending your knees this works your waist we're gonna go one side then the other side so just twisting with your dumbbell if it gets too hard with the dumbbell put the dumbbell down if it gets too easy with the dumbbell voila two dumbbells and let's do ten one and two, I know I'm getting sneaky because I'm only counting every other one. Three, four, but you got to keep those abs tight. Five, and you can also bend the elbow. Six, there's another variation. Seven, eight, of course you now realize that this one's harder. Nine, and last one, 10. You're awesome. Let's go into quadruped. So we're going to come up onto all fours. Hands and knees are in the same line, not wider than your body, but in line with your shoulders and hips. We're gonna extend out one leg and reach out the other arm, and let's lift them up and make a tabletop. I wanna be able to put some fine china anywhere on your back and know that it will not fall. And let's tap down and up. Tap and let's do six, five, four. Can you tap down and lift at the same time? Three and two. And hold, bring the elbow to the knee, squeeze. Oh, no fair, more balance. And reach, all done with this side, let's switch. Opposite arm and leg, reach out, lift it up to tabletop. Your arm is gonna be alongside your ear, your leg is gonna be as high as your butt. Tap down and up for eight, try to tap at the same time. Seven, there's your challenge. Six, 
might take a little practice. Four, tap at the same time. Three, two, and show me that tabletop. Hold it, squeeze it, pull it in. Oh, balance, snap. Reach it out, lengthen, down, and child pose. You are done, my friends. Great job. Round your spine up. Let's do that cat position we did in the beginning. Flat back position, sticking your tailbone back, lengthen your neck. Sit to one side, bring both legs over to one direction, side bend. This is called the mermaid. Bring the one leg out in front of you, hamstring stretch, reach for your toe or just grab the front of your thigh, slide down as far as you can. Fine, twist it up, take this leg, cross it over, give it a big hug. Here's where it gets confusing. If this leg is bent, the opposite arm grabs it. Turn back. So counterintuitive, I know. And let's do it to the other side. Both legs to the opposite direction. Let's do our little side bend stretch. Reach up and over. Ah, that feels nice. Take it out to your hamstring stretch. So the leg that was farther away from you, straighten that out. Reach down anywhere you can. If you're flexible enough to grab your toes, go for it. If that's too much of a strain or if one butt cheek is coming up, just grab somewhere on the front of your thigh or your ankle, calf. It's all good. And lift it up. Take this leg, the one that's bent, cross it over with the opposite arm. Give it a big hug because you love your legs now. They work so hard. Turn the opposite direction. When you get it, you feel it and you know it. All right, hopefully you feel as great as I did. That was an awesome sixth workout in your series. Stay with me, we've got four more to come. I'm Jill Brown.